Okay, we're going to talk more about this and more on the LIBOR rate rigging scandal and how it can affect global banking industry. We're joined by Lawrence White. He is the economics professor at New York University's Stern School of Business. Mr. White, thanks very much for joining us uh, here this evening. You, Thank you, know, you for inviting me. Thank I was you. reading about this in uh, the quotes from the U.S. Uh, uh, assistant prosecutor in this, saying, make no mistake, this is about greed. This is about malfeasance. How do you go about restoring credibility after something like this when headlines scream, UBS gets its day of reckoning? Well, look, I mean, the way to think about this is, uh, well, there are two ways. One, this is price fixing. This is rate manipulation. Uh, to the extent that UBS joined with other banks, uh, that's a criminal offense in the United States. It's a felony offense. Uh, men and women go to jail for this sort of thing. Uh, the fines can get into the hundreds of millions of dollars, in some cases billions, and then there are the private damages suits that can follow. So it's big stuff. And in addition, this is by a bank. And as everybody knows, banks have not been the most popular institutions around for the last four years or so. And so this seems to be yet another transgression of uh, civil society by a financial institution called a bank. Yeah, again though, I, I gotta press you. You didn't talk about credibility. How do you get this credibility back? If I'm an investor, if I'm someone that watched this, the, this, the pure greed, I mean, you talked about this going back. I think everybody thought they were getting their house in order now that uh, the Barclay er, hit earlier and now UBS. Well, uh, you know, the, you're, you're raising a good point. I mean. The, at some point, there's got to be new management that comes in and that says, you know, the old guys were falling down on the job, we're the new guys, and we pledge things are going to be different, and then they have to follow through. That's the only way I know to, for an organization to be able to deal with this kind of thing. You need new people to be able to say, in some, some way, make it credible, uh, we're different and things are going to be different. You know, also the prosecutor talked about, he had sources tell him that people inside the banking industry said something like this has been going back since 1991. I mean, that's, it's beyond criminal. It's hard to believe. Do you think we need more regulation? Is that going to move it forward? So we're doing a better job or who could even regulate them? Well, I'm, you know, on, on this sort of thing, I don't see regulation as the remedy. I do see where appropriate criminal fines, uh, I'm sorry, criminal action mm -hmm. and people going to jail. Uh, that gets people's attention real quickly when men and women are going to jail. And, uh, you know, seeing fines that are 10 digit numbers, that gets people's attention. And surely within the bank, uh, even though UBS is a big financial institution, its assets are in the trillions sure. of dollars, its net worth is in the hundreds of billions of dollars. So this will sting, it won't cripple, but nobody likes writing a check that has 10 digits on it. And so, you know, this sort of thing just needs to happen and needs to happen again, it needs to happen for the other major banks. So it becomes clear, hey, this is not something that should be happening. Hey, you know, quickly, you co-authored an article revamping the library back in July. How is the benchmark banks used for interbank lending need to change? I know it's a tough question, but can you answer well, it quickly? Well, basically, they've got to come up with a market-based uh, measure of what the current interest rates are, rather than this, uh, well, tell us what you think kind of measure. Uh, the, the tell us what you think really was an invitation for abuse. Um, I, this is the first time I've heard about things going back to 1991, but for sure, uh, you know, this kind of arrangement was just asking for abuse. We've now seen it. Uh, we've got to go to a different standard, and it's got to be a market-oriented standard with market information, not this, well, what do you think kind of approach. Okay, Larry White, again, thanks for joining us, NYU's Stern School of Business. Thank you.